Our journey begins in the summer of 2022, when the Supreme Court, led by Chief Justice John Roberts, ruled in favor of the Biden administration's decision to end the Remain in Mexico policy, a Trump-era directive. This policy, officially known as Migrant Protection Protocols, required non-U.S. citizens seeking entry through the southern border to stay in Mexico during their immigration proceedings. A year later, in June 2023, we witness a fascinating twist as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis defends his bold move to relocate migrants from Texas to California. DeSantis argued that sanctuary cities advocating for open borders should bear the consequences, a stance that was met with strong criticism from Democrats, including the Biden administration and California officials. Fast forward to the present day, March 19, 2024. The Supreme Court allows Texas to enforce the controversial immigration law, Senate Bill 4, signed by Governor Greg Abbott. This law criminalizes illegal entry into Texas and authorizes state judges to order deportations. The decision, opposed by the court's liberals, is seen as a temporary victory for Texas in its ongoing clash with the Biden administration over immigration policy. The law has sparked concerns over racial profiling and increased detentions, concerns raised by immigration advocates. Justices Barrett and Kavanaugh emphasized the court's reluctance to intervene in short-term administrative orders while the dissenting justices expressed concerns about the law's impact on federal-state relations and immigration enforcement. The case is set for arguments in April, with ongoing efforts to challenge the law. In summary, the enforcement of Senate Bill 4 marks a significant milestone in the U.S. immigration narrative. It reflects the ongoing tug-of-war between state and federal jurisdictions over immigration control. The law has ignited a debate that cuts to the heart of immigration policy, touching on issues of racial profiling, states' rights, and the balance of power between state and federal authorities. As we anticipate the court's arguments in April, the nation watches, bearing witness to a history-shaping chapter in the story of immigration.